Hey friends, and welcome to Cookie Crumb Fun. Today we're gonna to be cooking up a Trim Healthy Mama pecan pie for Thanksgiving. So the last few weeks, Lindsay and I have been sharing recipes for Thanksgiving so you can stay on plan this Thanksgiving. So go ahead and check out what Lindsay's has. I'll have iCard above and her link below to her channel so that you can go check out what video she, or what recipe she made for this week and for our desserts. Today I'm making a pecan pie, so let's jump right into it. In here I have the almond flour, the sweetener, I'm using pure and salt. We're going to mix this together and then add the melted butter. Just took it out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool, and while it's cooling, I am going to put together the ingredients for the inside of the pie. Now we're off to make the filling. You're going to get a saucepan, and you're going to put your butter in your saucepan to melt, and you're going to use a, whole, a low heat so you don't burn it. And you're going to put the butter in here along with the sweeteners. Now, the recipe, if you look at the recipe, if you go to the link below and look at the recipe, you'll notice that it costs calls for um, a brown sugar. You can easily add molasses to whatever sweetener you use, the True Healthy Mama sweetener you use. That is what I did right here. So that is like my brown sugar and I just added the um, molasses to that. And then the other one is a, um, an odd sweetener also that with Trim Healthy Mama, it's not something that we're used to, to using. So in the notes of the recipe, it says you can just use some um, swerve because she uses a lot of swerve but also, you know, gentle sweet, whichever one you want to use. So I just have the pure, and I quickly put it together. Um, I put it in my single serve ninja to turn it into like more of a powder. So it's the um, like a confectionery sugar, all right? I did the same thing to mix the brown sugar together. So you're gonna melt the butter and your sugars together. And you're gonna do that over a low heat. So this is all melted together then we're going to take it off the heat and we're going to add in our vanilla and salt so now we just have to wait for this to melt The butter and the sugars are all melted together. You're going to take it off the heat and you're going to stir in your vanilla. And I already put my salt in there, it's just a small amount of salt. See, it's stuck in there. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm whisk all this together here. So once the vanilla is all incorporated. And then we're going to add the eggs. It says when it's not too hot, the recipe says if it's not too hot, add the eggs. But um, what I'm going to do is pour a little bit of the sugar mixture into my eggs. I have my eggs in this bowl right here. And I'm just gonna temper the eggs so we don't get scrambled eggs. 
right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this mixture into the eggs to warm up the eggs so I don't get scrambled eggs you gotta work fast this is called tempering and then once this is all mixed up and if you don't have scrambled eggs which I don't then you can add it to the rest of the mixture I think that works out really great see that no scrambled eggs so now we're going to add it to here it all together. And once this is all set, then we're going to pour it into our pie pan, our pie crust. Now to make it easier to get my pie in and out of the oven, I'm going to put it on this cookie sheet. I'm not worried about it, you know, spilling over. You know, sometimes like an apple pie can um, go over the edge or something. I'm not worried about that. I think it'll be easier getting it in and out. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pecans and you're going to put them all over the bottom of your pan, or your, uh, your crust here, and then when you pour in your filling, they're all going to rise to the top. I don't have salted ones, but I bet you that would be really good. Like if you roasted them and added a little salt, that would probably add some really good flavor to this. Anyone add caramel to their pecan pie? Ever make a pecan pie and add caramel to it? That even sounds better. Maybe a caramel sauce to go on top. Oh, yum yum. All right, I think this is good. This is a good little layer. For exact amounts, go ahead and check the recipe below. I'll have a link to All Day I Dream About Food where you can go check out this recipe for yourself if you would like to make a pecan pie for your holiday. And be sure to check out Lindsay's when you're done watching this recipe. So now what we're gonna do here is add our filling. This looks like a caramel sauce all by itself, doesn't it? Oh, that looks so yummy. Now you're going to put this back in your oven and let it cook for a really long time. I think it's like 45 minutes or something like that. i got to double check the recipe after I put it in. Oh, that looks so good. It's one of the things I really miss is pecan pie on Thanksgiving. And uh, I usually ended up just, uh, I think it was last year or the year before, I ended up just cheating and eating it because that was the one thing that I wanted more than anything else was some pecan pie. I want to taste this filling. I haven't tasted it yet. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Okay, you really should granulate up your, um, um, blend up your sweeteners to make them powdery. Because you know how sometimes when you're using sweeteners, and you don't get it into the real fine granules, you know, like a confectioner's sugar, then it's kind of gritty. That is not gritty at all. That's yummy. All right, so I'm going to put this in my oven and then set my timer. I gotta be very, very careful that it doesn't spill. There we go. Oh, yummo, it's gonna be so good. All right, so I'm gonna set my timer for who knows how long. And uh, let me just check my recipe. I'm going to go ahead and set my timer. And uh, let's see, it says 45 to 50 minutes. That's a really long time. So I think I'm going to go do some things. So I'm going to go set that. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. It's still going to be, it's like a pumpkin pie. It's not going to be set all the way. But I'll show you it too. I'll show you when we're done. So there is the finished pie. It has been out of the oven for a few minutes. I had my camera upstairs, the battery charging, so I didn't show you right away taking it out. But it did get a little dark. I probably should have gotten some aluminum foil and put it on the edges, but I'm not worried about that at all. It's still going to taste good. And um, it is, let's see, it is, no, it's solid. It was very wobbly about 10 minutes ago when I took it out of the oven, you know, like, like it didn't look set. But as it's cooling, I can tell that it's setting. So this is going to taste so good. 
it probably won't be cool until tomorrow. It is, see it's 5.30 tonight. So I got dinner in the instant, not in the instant pot. What is that? They got it in my kasori tonight. So um, I'll probably let this sit here until um, later on. It's chilly in the house, so I think it'll be okay. And then I'll put it in the oven, not the oven, the refrigerator. And then tomorrow I will cut into it and share with you what it looks like. Because I would like for my husband to have some and I don't want our children to gobble it all up. So that's the pie fresh out of the oven. I will see you tomorrow and I will share with you what it looks like. So stay tuned. Here is the finished pie. This is now Sunday night. We just finished dinner and I'm going to cut into the pie and uh, serve it up. Well, last night, as you can see in the video, I cut up the pie and I served it out to everybody. But after we ate it, we played some games together as a family and did some other things and it got late and I got tired and we just went to bed and I said, I'll just easily get on here in the morning and give you a little update as to how we liked the pie. I liked the pie, I did. And I will make it again because it was good. My husband liked it. Um, my 12 year old ate it. The little kids, they're not really into like nut pies. They, they would rather just eat nuts. And I knew they weren't going to eat it. I made it but, but mostly for the older kids, my husband and myself. But um, I think the one mistake that I made was putting it in the fridge. I don't believe she mentions in the recipe to do that. And so it got really solid as you can see in the picture. I mean it was a solid thing. And your pecan pies have that soft gooiness. You know, it's still together. It all holds together, all that gooiness underneath the pecans. But it didn't have that. And I realized as I was cutting into it that, you know, that's what I did wrong. That I should have just left it out on the counter to cool rather than put it in the fridge. So I'm going to make it again. And I'm going to not, because it was really easy to make, I'm going to not put it in the fridge to cool. I'm just going to leave it out. I mean, it's it's chilly right now, especially at night here in California where we live. And so I think that it'll be just fine. And um, yeah, I think that that's really going to make it even better than it already was. I ended up after ta tasting a couple um, bites from my slice, I went ahead and put it in the microwave to warm it up a little bit. And it did melt a little bit because I did put it in there a couple seconds too long. But that made a world of a difference. It was much better um, a little warm because it was that gooey texture, you know what I'm saying, from that we want from the pecan pie. So I will, like I said, I'm going to make it again and not put it in the fridge. And I also am going to attempt to make, um, somebody's probably has like a bar recipe. I've seen it around Instagram where um, the bloggers make a pecan pie bars. So I think I will try to attempt that one next. And that's not going to be probably a video recipe that was just going to make that for my family. But I hope you enjoyed these videos for Thanksgiving. I hope they inspired you to try something new. And go ahead and check out Lindsay's channel because I am so interested in the cheesecake that she's making. She made a spiced cheesecake. Doesn't that sound yummy? And she's really awesome at creating her own recipes for Trim Healthy Mama. So you go ahead and check out her video for the, the uh, um, what did I just say, the spiced cheesecake. And... Um, uh, give her some support over there. So thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a wonderful and happy and blessed Thanksgiving. So until next time, be a blessing.